In this week's episode of Crazy Ass Phones Taking the World by Storm, <laughs> no, 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 kidding. You're still watching Need to Know, but if there's one other name to make this video justice, that's gonna be it. Pour yourself some coffee and get ready to see one of the best surprises of 2019 making a comeback. The Nubia Z20 that stood out by taking an honest chance. Slapping a second display on the back is getting an upgrade this month. Next week, Z30 is gonna show up in all its glory and honestly, it's gonna be a good one. Now, I'm gonna be more careful than usual with what to expect here because not even Nubia has decided. Or well, they did decide, only it might come across as confusing for most of you if you're ZTE followers. The name of the series, Z30, clearly means they're gonna stick with the design and main features of the phone before it, right? So, why does every render point towards an Accent 30 with another name? In other words, are we gonna get a better dual screen phone or an upgraded under display selfie cam one? Actually, what do you hope for? I'm curious. The unusual design of Z20 or the traditional Accent phone but with camera and performance upgrades to make up for it. If you ask me, I'm a sucker for norm-defying gadgets, so, fingers crossed, Z30 will give us a badass OLED secondary screen that hides even better in plain sight. Enough about wishful thinking, though. What do we actually know? Well, we do know the main display will be notchless. No cutouts for camera there. Just a beautiful continuous OLED display. This time without the chunky bezels Z20 sported. We're seeing here a waterfall-like display that leans into the rear with just a small skinny bezel top and bottom. A display with a 120Hz refresh rate, mind you. This means we don't have to deal with the traditional front camera, which together with the phone's name is in line with the dual screen ZTE model. This also allows another cool thing, under display face recognition. With a TOF sensor, heads up. ZTE showed the tech at MWC Shanghai and it wouldn't be a stretch to see it in the May 20 device. With a TOF sensor, there's also room for more than just unlocking your phone with your face. You've got, all of a sudden, the chance to explore AR and other 3D applications, which is very cool and something we'd normally expect from a flagship. It's important to say this, guys, this phone will be marketed as a mid-ranger. No matter the high-stakes design and next-gen specs you'll hear from me in the next few minutes, judging by the pricing history, we'll likely see it at $600 or so, under $1,000 and that's for sure. So, you can get a a notchless, bezel-less, waterfall-esque phone with an under-display 3D TOF sensor and standard back, which means under-display selfie camera from the get-go. Or B, you get the same distraction-free screen with under-display TOF camera and a secondary screen. That one would live under the quad camera on the back of your Z30. Let me walk you through it. On the Nubia Z20, we had a pretty big 5 inches out of view rear display under the triple camera. When turned on, it mirrored the primary display but was mostly used to open the selfie cam. Once open, the main rear camera took control of your face shots or the ultrawide if you wanted a group selfie. So, if the Zenfones flip to take your selfie, for example, the Zs enable a completely separate screen for the job. Can't say which variant I dig more. Do you have a favorite? Let me know. Only problem is the renders we have so far for the Z30 don't show any sign of the secondary display. Of course, ZTE might want to keep it as a surprise, or they've made it so stealth it doesn't show up. In any case, the camera we're expecting now is a quad. Besides the main, you should find an ultra-wide and a tele and get a hundred times zoom. On the Pro model, check this out. ZTE says SLR functions are gonna come. Now, Nubia did give us plenty to play with in the past, like multiple exposure, adjustable aperture, star trail shooting, and so on. It's gonna be interesting to see what they add to this. If you ask me, the rest of the specs will be more cut and dry. The Snapdragon 888 is gonna power the whole thing up, so you're gonna get great performance. Again, let me say this, in a mid-range priced phone, okay? Plus, at least 8GB of RAM and 512 of storage. 
5G connectivity is in and oh yeah, around 5000 mAh battery. The Z20 came with 27 watts of charging, so I'm hoping for more this time around. Another thing that would be cool to have, again, are the dual fingerprint scanners that Z20 had. Of course, that only makes sense if we're looking at a dual screen kind of phone. So. Imagine, if Nubia Z30 would show up with two screens, 120Hz refresh rate for the main one, under display TOF, the quad camera we talked about, and all the hardware goodies. The processor, RAM, battery, you know, wouldn't that be crazy cool and so much value for the price? What do you think? Should Z30 look like that? Or do you prefer flip cameras anyway? Tell me in the comments, guys! Thanks for watching and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. It really means the world to us. See ya!